spacing of ties or links in a column changes along the height, especially in the seismic prone areas. The fundamental reason for this is special confining reinforcement. In a column, typically, the stirrups near the ends are closely spaced, whereas the, the stirrups in the middle part of the column are broadly spaced. And again, at the column end, the, you will find the spacing of the stirrups to be lesser. The fundamental reason for that, that you need to comply with the special confining reinforcement requirement. But why, what exactly the special confining reinforcement is, that we'll be looking at it. And also we'll be looking at it, that how, for how much portion should we need to provide the uh, special confining reinforcement. So the confining reinforcement should be provided for a length L0. What exactly L0 is and how do we compute it? The L0 is basically comes from three values that comes from the column dimensions, which is uh, it should be maximum of these three values. The one is the larger dimension of the column. So let's say if the column is of 300 by 400, the maximum column dimension, which is 400 should be taken. Similarly, let's say if the clear span or the clear height of the column is coming out to be 3000. So one sixth of that, which is 500 should be taken as L naught and also 450. So out of these three values, whatever is the maximum that L L0 would be that and for that length L0 you need to provide the special confining reinforcement. Similarly, now what should be the spacing of special confining reinforcement, especially in that area L0? Uh, it should be basically minimum of these three values and this will give you the spacing. It should be one fourth of the minimum dimension of the member. So let's say if it is uh, a column dimension, it should be uh, minimum of B, B or D whatsoever the case. It should be six times the it should be also minimum of six times the smallest uh, longitudinal bar. So let's say if uh, you are having dash 16 bar in your columns, which is the main bar, six times 16, which is 96 mm. It, the spacing of the bar should not be more than six, 96 mm, and also it has a cap of 100 mm also. So this gives you the spacing that you need to have, the minimum spacing that you should have in the special confining zone that you are having. Further. 3090 code also imposes what should be the minimum area of a particular single link that you need to have. So for a circular column, it gives you the uh, ASH, which is maximum of these two values. If you look at look closely, the most of the parameters are familiar, which is FCK is the characteristic strength of the concrete, FY is the yield strength of steel bar that you are having. AG is the cross gross area of the uh, concrete section and all AK is the section that you have within the link or the stirrups that you are having. Similarly, for rectangular, you have this formula, which is uh, which is also is having a AK expression, which is given by the confining within the ties that we are having. So this also imposes the minimum reinforcement of the single tie that you need to have. Similarly, for special confining reinforcement, not only needs to be provided in columns, but also need to be provided in the beams also. The spacing at the beam end should be lesser whereas it should be more it could be more within the mid, mid span of the beam that we are having uh, further the actual spacing should be computed as per the design that we are having and also we need to ensure whether the spacings and the uh, l naught that we have followed are is coming from these values or not further what exactly is the fundamental reason of providing the lesser spacing is what in a moment frame when we are having we are letting the ends of columns and ends of beams yield or go into the non-linear zone so that they can dissipate energy in in time of earthquake so they can basically go into the non-linear zone and how do we how we are achieving that basically designing those for a certain amount of shear capacity and once we ensured whether uh, the beam has this certain capacity to uh, dissipate the energy and by amount of not failing in shear we actually ensure that the beam can yield in flexure. This was a small video was on special confining reinforcement. If you found it uh, helpful, please press the like button and subscribe for more.